we're going to have a look at the spinner chief batch function which basically takes a bunch of articles from one folder spins the articles and then puts them in another folder very handy for a quick operation I have some articles in a folder here you can see them there we've called it batch test this folder so if we go into the batch spin function and choose that folder there we are batch test so that's the source folder that goes in at the top here I want to generate one article for each one of those 10 articles selecting automatic synonyms automatic frequency is fine um, what we're going to do is leave this default show article for the first spin so it's going to spin I've hit the spin button it's going to spin all 10 articles and they're going to come up on the screen in front of us there we are it's spun all 10 articles there which you can see there they are, uh, two, three, four, etc. And you can see that they're spun. Um, there's no point in calculating the similarity because they are 10 genuinely different articles. If you'd have taken one article and spun it 10 times, then it would have been worth performing that function. So we'll close that off and have a look at the next option. There's the same. Uh, user interface. Now what we're going to do uh, is act, instead of showing the article we're going to save the articles to a folder and this here is the prefix that Spinner Chief adds on to your new article names. So we're going to save to a different folder, hit the spin button and we'll spin to this uh, output directory that I've prepared. Let's click OK to that. Again it's a reasonably fast process so it's taking all the articles, spinning them and putting them in the output folder. We'll just have a look there. There's the output folder and there are the folders that Spinner Chief has created. There's one article in each one. So if I'd have chosen say 10 articles for each original to give me a total of 100, there'd be 10 articles in each of those folders. Now let's have a look at spinning to the spin tax form format which a lot of softwares use so you may want to take a load of articles and spin them to the spin tax format so I've just clicked that and all the settings are keeping the same hit the spin button and it's going to ask me for an output folder so I'm going to put it to the second output folder here and spin again. So it's spinning all 10 articles again, but only this time the end result will be 10 articles all in the spin tax format using the spin, the brackets for spinning. That's done. Let's have a quick look. We want the output to folder. There's the 10 articles. I'll just have a look at one of them. There you are. That's in the spin tax format. So that can be used in other software. So I'll close that off. And finally, let's have a look at the spinning um, articles that are already in a spin tax format, such as ultra spinnable articles. So we now use the output to folder as our source folder. So here it is up here, look, is output to folder. In there are the spin tax format articles. So we're going to uh, save articles to another folder and spin them now. And it's going to ask me for uh, another folder. Let's put them into this third output folder. Click OK. And we wait for Spinner Chief to work its magic. There it is done. Let's have a quick look. There's the output 3 folder. And there is the output uh, article from the spin tax format. Okay, that was how Spinner Chief works with batch processing articles. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please post to the forum. Thank you.